What if the stars we've gazed upon for centuries are hiding secrets that could rewrite the very code of existence? What if the twinkling lights in the night sky are not just distant fires but echoes of realities we can't comprehend? The James Webb Space Telescope, our boldest venture into the void, has pierced the veil of the cosmos and returned with visions that defy every equation, every assumption we've clung to. In the quiet hum of its data streams, Webb hasn't just captured images. It's unearthed paradoxes that make the foundations of science tremble. Our models predicted a universe born in chaos, slowly knitting itself into order over eons. But Webb whispers otherwise. A cosmos that burst into maturity, defying time's arrow and challenging the sanctity of the Big Bang itself. Picture this. A telescope floating in the cold embrace of space, its golden eye unblinking, staring back to the edge of creation. Launched on that fateful Christmas day in 2021, Webb was meant to be our oracle, revealing the infancy of the universe. Astronomers dreamed of glimpsing the first flickers of light, the raw, unformed blobs of gas that would one day become galaxies. Instead, what Webb beheld was a gallery of giants, galaxies so vast, so intricate, that they seemed to mock our timelines. These aren't fledgling worlds. They're ancient behemoths, swirling with stars and dust mere hundreds of millions of years after the supposed dawn. It's as if the universe skipped its childhood entirely, emerging fully armored from the forge of creation. This revelation hit like a cosmic thunderbolt. In the standard narrative, the Big Bang unleashed a sea of particles, cooling and coalescing over billions of years. Galaxies, those grand spirals and ellipses, should have taken their sweet time to assemble. Gravity pulls, stars ignite, black holes stir the pot. It's a slow dance. But Webb's infrared gaze cut through the haze, spotting structures like Jade's GSZ 13-0 a galaxy so massive it shouldn't exist yet. With a redshift pushing it back to 325 million years post-Big Bang, it boasts the complexity of something billions of years older. How? The math screams impossibility. Dark matter, that invisible scaffold, might have accelerated the process, but even that stretches credulity. Perhaps primordial black holes seeded these monsters, gobbling matter at rates we can't fathom. Or maybe our understanding of gravity falters at these scales, bending rules in the early inferno. But the shocks don't stop at galaxies. Webb has turned its eye to worlds beyond our solar system, unveiling exoplanets that laugh at chemistry's laws. Take TRAPPIST-1e, a rocky orb in a habitable zone, where Webb detected hints of an atmosphere thick with carbon dioxide and perhaps water vapor. Models said such planets should be barren, stripped by stellar winds. Yet here they are, cloaked in gases that suggest geological activity or even primitive life. Then there's HD 189733b, a hot Jupiter where Webb spied silicate clouds raining glass sideways in howling winds. No simulation predicted that hellish beauty. And don't forget GJ 1214b, shrouded in a steamy haze that defies easy classification. Is it a water world or a mini Neptune? Each spectrum web captures adds layers of mystery, forcing us to redraw the blueprints of planetary formation. These findings ripple outward, questioning the very fabric of space-time. Einstein taught us that the universe expands, stretching light into redder hues as it races away. But Webb's deep fields reveal clusters forming too soon, too tightly packed. The Hubble tension already nagged at us. The universe expands faster than predicted, but Webb amplifies it. Perhaps dark energy isn't constant. Maybe it evolves, pushing the cosmos apart with varying vigor. Or consider the cosmic microwave background, that afterglow of the Big Bang. Webb's observations hint at inconsistencies, patches where the radiation doesn't match the smooth uniformity we expected. Could there be primordial waves, ripples from quantum fluctuations that birthed these early titans? Now, let's venture into the shadows the voids and webs that lace the universe. Webb has mapped filaments of gas stretching across billions of light years, connecting galaxies in a cosmic neural network. But some threads are too straight, too resilient against gravity's tug. What unseen force holds them? Modified gravity theories whisper answers, suggesting Einstein's relativity breaks down on galactic scales. Or perhaps it's mond modified Newtonian dynamics, 
where gravity strengthens in weak fields, explaining these structures without invoking dark matter's ghost. Yet dark matter persists in our equations, a placeholder for the unknown. Webb's lensing effects where massive clusters bend light reveal distributions that don't align. Clumps too dense, halos too diffuse, it's a puzzle that could unravel particle physics itself. Amid these upheavals, a chilling thought emerges. What if the universe isn't isotropic, not the same in all directions? Our models assume homogeneity a uniform soup, but Webb spots asymmetries, overdensities in one quadrant, scarcities in another. This could point to a pre-Big Bang era, a bounce from a previous contraction. Cyclic cosmology gains traction here. Universes dying and reborn in eternal cycles, each leaving imprints like fossilized echoes. Imagine our Big Bang as just one pulse in an infinite heartbeat. Webb might be catching the scars of prior epochs, galaxies inherited from a collapsed predecessor. Diving deeper, the multiverse beckons. In this vast ensemble, our universe is but one bubble in a frothing sea, each with slightly different laws. Webb's anomalies could be bleed through, where neighboring realities brush against ours, distorting physics at the edges. Quantum mechanics supports this many worlds interpretation, where every possibility branches. Perhaps Webb peers into adjacent branches, glimpsing galaxies that evolved under tweaked constants. The fine tuning problem amplifies this. Why are our physical constants so perfectly suited for life? A multiverse answers, we're in the one where it works. But proof? Elusive, yet Webb's data nudges us closer. And then, the ultimate heresy, simulation theory. What if the cosmos is code, run on some hyper-advanced substrate? Glitches in the program explain these impossibilities, early galaxies as rendering errors, exotic chemistries as debug artifacts. Philosopher Nick Bostrom posited this, arguing advanced civilizations would simulate ancestors. Webb's precision might expose the pixelation, the underlying grid. Time dilation near black holes, quantum entanglement, these could be optimizations in the sim. Terrifying? Absolutely. It demotes us from cosmic explorers to mere avatars. But exhilarating too, hinting at layers beyond. As data pours in, the scientific fortress cracks. Conferences buzz with debate. Papers flood AR-14 with revisions. The Lambda CDM model, our cosmic constitution, faces amendments or outright revolution. Remember how Ptolemy's geocentric orbs yielded to Copernicus? Newton's absolutes to Einstein's curves? We're at such a cusp. Webb doesn't destroy. It illuminates blind spots. Black holes, once theoretical, now imaged, Webb builds on that, probing their infancy. Did they form directly from gas clouds, bypassing stars? Observations of quasars blazing early suggest yes. Supermassive hearts beating in newborn galaxies. 